I, I was very, very close with Dusty. I consider Dusty one of my top two or three friends in the world. We, we got each other, you know. I started listening to ZZ Top when they first started, when they looked like cowboys. <laughs> In the early days, I think I saw every tour, starting from the time I was a teenager all the way up into my 30s. I, I probably saw every one they did. Dusty was a very enthusiastic bass player. He loved it. It's hard to find a guy who loved playing live more than Dusty. He did have a flair, and when he sang, he put everything he had into it. So Dusty was always just a, you know, like a stylish performer. You wanted to watch him. You know, it doesn't hurt any when you have a beard like that that you can tug every now and then. You know, they always had different ideas, you know, than other people. They just, uh, they had a, a thing, they had a style. There was always some new innovation, you know, that uh, they would come up with. But they had all these sort of dance moves on the stage. Yeah, he and Gibbons would do these step things. And, and you know, Gibbons' legs were probably you know, nearly a foot longer than Dusty's, but Dusty was right with him every second. I actually played drums a couple of times live with ZZ Top, but the one I remember was at Billy Bob's in Fort Worth. And Frank said, yeah, go ahead, man. You know, so I picked the two that I knew I wouldn't screw up. <laughs> oh yeah, I saw Dusty's uh, hat and boot closet several times and uh, at different residences over the years. The walk-in closet was gigantic and there was nothing in this closet but hats. Dusty never tossed anything. He kept everything he ever had. You know, he was a collector. He loved the stuff. He was the cool version of like going to your great aunt's house and she has shelves full of tchotchkes, <laughs> you know? He just had a lot of stuff. Dusty was a Texan through and through. You know, he was raised up in the Dallas area, you know, and then ultimately they went down to Houston. He was very proud of Texas. He was a, actually a very normal guy. Like he didn't have eccentricities, let's say, that some of the rest of us who were around him did, you know. And he was just always fascinated by weirdos. <laughs> he had fun with his life. Just like the world to remember Dusty as part of a band that changed rock and roll music. All of a sudden these guys are here and it's a new thing we hadn't heard. I think it's that style and I hope people remember Dusty as a not only an amazing human being but just as a guy who had a style that will always be remembered. The style that he created and those two other guys, Billy and Frank, created their thing and together they were a new thing that we didn't have and it only grew over the years because that was a trio that worked together and I just hope they'll always listen to him. Yeah.